Hello and welcome everybody, this is your host, Leervok, and you are just in time for more Darksiders 2. In the last episode, we attempted to go through the Weeping Crag, and while I can technically finish it now, um, I've run into a bit of a problem, and that being that the boss is way overpowered for me right now. It's like a level 10 boss and I'm only level 2. Hitting it, I deal like barely any damage. So we're going to put a put a hold off on the Weeping Crag. Um, until probably after we get done with the Cauldron. At that point, I should be at least high enough level to deal with him. Um, now one thing you may be noticing, if we go into the minimap, you may notice a little uh, icon here. Um, this is a fast travel point. Whenever you're in a dungeon and you, and you decide to fast travel to an area that you can fast travel to, such as, like, say, Tristone, um, a trainer, the trainer, uh, armor and weapons, so on and so forth, any place you can fast travel to, it will leave a little marker inside the dungeon. Um, this marker goes away if you enter the dungeon, but it will return to the same room that you warped out of. Um, kind of makes it a little easier to kind of deal with, uh, stuff like, like, uh, getting, uh, selling, like, selling armor and stuff. Um, but yeah, right here, while we're outside in the real, in the rest of the world outside of the dungeons, we have a bunch of enemies to deal with. Um. Ouch. There we go. And most of these enemies are optional, but they do give us a little bit, little bits of experience and stuff. So, um, right here we got, ooh, we got new boots. Hmm. That's what we have one right now. That's what we just got. Okay. Sorry, but. Yeah, okay, so let's, uh, what do we need to head to from here? Um, not that way. There's something over here, I believe, that we can't, that we, oh, no, we can't get it yet. Can we? No, we can't, we need something else for that, okay. Um, there's a lot of little hidden stuff around this world that we can acquire in different in different ways, um, as we progress through the game, um, right there you notice that we can actually dash these enemies and deal damage with them if we, uh, hit them directly enough with, uh, with despair. Um, obviously I can't. Um, right here we're gonna just hop off of dust, or despair, excuse me. Keep mixing up the bird and the horse. Um. Okay, so there we go. Got rid of that guy. And we're going to try this again. There we go. I believe we can get this chest up here, but basically a lot of the chests are a little mini dungeon. Not mini dungeon, mini little challenge areas to get to them. Um, and right there you notice, here's the chest. And we'll usually get some random items, gold, and usually an item that we can either sell or equip. Ooh, we got an amulet. Ooh, nice. Sage Talisman. Go ahead and equip that, that gives us wrath and arcane up. Um, right up there, that little, uh, gem that you see. Uh, that is something that we can get for a side quest later on, um, can't get the, can't get the quest quite yet, um, but that is, that is part of a pretty lengthy side quest, um, and it's, a, it's a collectible item for, for a side quest, um, and we don't, we, can, we don't really have the, uh, equipment to get, to get it anyway, so, we'll just, Leave it for now and uh, 
Ooh, ooh, shit. What do we have for the boots here? Are they... Nope. Okay. Okay, and... Finish him off. And finish him off. Okay, so we can go back, get back on Despair, and head this back to the crack. Rolls. Not the crack, the yeah, called Head towards the cauldron. So we're heading to right now. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure. Uh, this little dun this little area here is another dungeon we'll be getting into later. Um, I don't think we can enter it yet, but it is really high level for us right now. So I would actually recommend not going into it unless you want to die a lot. Um, and I mean a lot. And let's see. You go. I have to go alone. And when we get out here, just just gold. Mm. Oh, I think there's something in here. I'm hearing something. Oh, it's another one of those stones. Uh, yeah, see that I told you that collect they're like collectibles. Um, there's like three different types of stones you, you can get for the quest. Um, oops, there you go. Press the little hero. Um, yeah, again, they're like, they're like the, the pages of the Book of, Book of Shadows. They're the collectible item that you can collect throughout the world. Um, yeah, so now as we enter this volcan volcano -y area, as we start to enter the cauldron, we run into. We got, we got, I guess we gotta help the car now. The tales be true. A rider has come to the realm. Not another one. Okay, Lord so. The, Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears so, I'm got to the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself oh, yes, rumbling up. deep in the nice. earth. I'll take my chances. Okay. And... Your shaman has offered me a talisman if I bring her the materials. You'd be wise to accept then. Her craft is mighty powerful. Where do I find Stalker's bone? You'll find Stalker's prowling the cauldron. Should be simple work if your name is any indication. <laughs> Say, if you're headed in there, you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me mm. you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish. You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, no different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup hmm. or Lad, but I prefer my own name, Khan. Pup, it is then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. Uh, but the gold one is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Okay, so real quick, um, I need.
need to uh, yeah subtitles are on okay I have no clue why there wasn't any subtitles for that okay so we've leveled up so let's go ahead and level up real quick um, Ooh, that one's actually, that's pretty good actually. Um, so go ahead and get that. Uh, on the next level we can get a, get an inescapable that so, like burns them and then also freezes them. Well, slows them down. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty good. And then, I believe this will work even on fire and amazing this will work even on frost enemies. Yeah, it's kind of a little weird. But yeah, so now that we've leveled up, we've gotten a little stronger too. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully by the time we, we get through the through the cauldron here, we'll have leveled up completely. Um, I think right now we need to find a way into the cauldron. And I think that's going to be our, our main priority right now. Um, I could be wrong. I could. The door could be already open, but um, for some reason I remember. No, the door's open. Okay. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and bust into the first room, and we'll start our first dungeon. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be getting too much further into this. Um, and I think actually I'm just gonna. There we go. <laughs> Waiting from the move. I think we'll just go about this far and no further for the time being. I know this is going to be a shorter episode, but I kind of do want to keep these at least somewhat in in a 